Well, hey guys, what's up? What's going on out there this afternoon? Hey, Brent Abel here, webtennis.com. Another episode of the Tennis Mindset Project. Hope you're having a great day so far, wherever you are. And this is a follow-up to what I did this morning on what's the right shot. And uh, it's, it's really about a drill that I love to do um, certainly once a week, if not twice a week. Um, just because it, uh, just because it works. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Uh, look, guys, before we get into it, just a quick reminder that, uh, yeah, every morning, uh, 8 a.m. Pacific, typically go live, not 100% of the time, but most of the time it's a live episode of What's the Right Shot. And uh, What's the Right Shot? If, this is, if you're brand new to web tennis, hey, thanks for hanging out with me uh, and finding me. Look, uh, every morning, uh, 8 a.m. Pacific, uh, what's the right shots based on two premises? Number one, shot choice. Where do you want the ball to land over there? And then number two, how do you want to enhance that shot choice by uh, moving to a next best court position? What I do is I cherry pick a point uh, from a, a point I play, either singles or doubles or someone else's match. And at some point in the video, I pause the video and ask you right before one of the players about to play a shot, what do you think is the right shot? And again, based on those two things, where do you think the ball should land over there and where should that player move to next on the court to enhance that shot? Um, so look, uh, as a reminder, uh, every morning, 8 a.m. Pacific, and I do send out an email every morning just to remind you with a link uh, to that episode. If you're not on my email list, just go on over to Brent, <laughs> Brent at webtennis.com. Go on over to webtennis.com, drop in a first name, email address, uh, you'll get put on that list, and you'll also get a, a complimentary free course on my four parts between points routine. Kind of an important deal. So, guys, look, um, let's talk about um, drills, the need to get you out of your comfort zone. And I've always thought that drills um, should not not like crazy get us out of our comfort zone where it's so far away we just can't feel anything that we're working on right so <laughs> could be maybe that you're working on a return to surf right and I've seen this before with coaches where they and actually I've probably done this myself and I if I did it to you my apologies but to where let's say you're working on return to serve and there's one part of the technique you're working on and the coach gets over there and starts serving from their service line, not the baseline, from their service line, and banging it as hard as they can into you. And it's coming in so fast, you've got no time to be able to really feel what you're working on. So they get you so far out of your comfort zone with this thing. It's just, it's just useless. I do think that you need to stretch yourself every time. You need to get out of your comfort zone slightly. And what we worked on uh, this morning with what's the right shot is... Yeah, uh, and this is something, like I said before, that I do at least once a week. I play serve and volley on my top spin second serve the entire time in singles. And it's just more to improve the quality of, my, of the power that I want to get on my top spin second serve. It's, all about, it's more about getting a higher quality spin on my top spin second serve when I play serve and volley in that practice session. One of the ways to do that is to you serve four points, go do sad, do sad, and then the balls go over there and let your let your practice partner serve four points. You could do it more, you could do it eight points, whatever you want to do. But the point here is that you don't need to keep score, right? This is not a way to kind of get out of your comfort zone. You're working on something, right? There's some part of the technique that you're working on. And for me with that toss spin second serve, it's I got to make sure the toss is not behind me, right? I'm going to play Serve and volley. Serve has got to be slightly in front of me. Maybe not as far in front as I would with a first serve, but far enough out in front that I would naturally be able to come in behind it as if I'm playing serve and volley on a second serve. And the more you do this, the more uh, you, you, yeah, the more you stretch yourself, right? Get slightly out of that comfort zone. Maybe, you know, maybe, a, maybe for a while it just doesn't feel comfortable. But eventually, you, you kind of dig into it and you feel better. And look, here's the other thing, too, with it, is that you're going to find in the beginning is that, okay, well, you kind of get neat, eaten up with a return in terms of that transitional shot when you're playing serve and volley, serve and volley, serve and half volley, serve and ball sits up, maybe you play an approach shot, whatever. 
but this drill kind of takes care of that as well too is you're working on you're working on more power uh, a higher quality spin on that top spin sag and serve as you play a serve and volley but the next thing you know is after a couple of weeks of doing this now all of a sudden your transitional shot becomes a whole lot more comfortable a whole lot more where you just feel like you know what i got more time here to play this a whole lot less stress because uh oh i'm moving through <laughs> quote unquote no man's land so what so what? I mean, that's just part of the deal. That's a transitional shot. You're going to have to play a shot from time to time from in between the baseline and the service line. So what? Right? It's going to be fine. So um, that's the message for today. And, 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 and I hope that makes sense. The drills, any drill you do ought to stretch you, right? Ought to get you slightly out of your comfort zone. Don't be crazy with it. And the same thing for me with fitness, right? When I'm doing a fitness opportunity drill, um, on the court or maybe in the gym, I like to get a little, <laughs> this is not painful, but um, I'm working. I'm working. And, and, and maybe it's nothing more than I just don't feel like it today. Okay, let's get it going anyway. Let's put on the shoes. Let's get the water bottle filled up with water. Let's stick it into the water holder on the bike and let's get going. And sometimes that's the getting out of my comfort zone that once that, that that's enough to get me going anyway, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Look guys, um, if you want some help, if you want some one-on-one -on -one private coaching, I do offer a couple of different ways we can do it on the court. Uh, typically it's with an out of town student. I've got one here right now from Michigan and, uh, yeah, it's usually like a three day deal, two hours. There are two hour coaching sessions on the court, three days. They don't have to be three consecutive days. Um, we could break that up. But it's really much more about coaching, meaning shot choice. What are your instinctive shot choices when you play points? And what are your instinctive next best court positions after you, after you play your shot? And that's really what we work on. Sure, there might be a little bit of swing tech that we need to work on in that kind of a situation. But it's really much more about here's how to play the game, quote unquote, play the game of tennis, as opposed to really doing such a deep dive on stroke technique. Look, um, we can also do some video conferencing as well. Uh, I do a lot of swing tech analysis uh, and there's other stuff. I mean, obviously my mindset training, which has been a big deal for me over the last 18 months um, of my career, of my tournament career. Um, and fitness, whatever's on your mind, wherever you are with your game, what we can do is get on a free 15 minute uh, video call and you're going to describe to me where you are with your game right now and where you want to take it. And then I'll let you know how I think I can best get you there, how I can best bridge that gap between where you are now and where you want to take your game to. And then let you decide if you think it's a good fit for you or maybe not. Um, the way to get started with that is just Brent at webtennis.com. Shoot me an email. I'll send you a link uh, so you can cherry pick a date and time that works best for you to uh, schedule that free 15 minute call. Guys, that is it for me today. Hope this has been helpful. Any comments, any questions in your marks down below in the comments area and or you can shoot me an email brent at webtennis.com if you prefer to keep the conversation private. Guys, that's it. As always, we got to get out there. We got to help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys, see you again next time.